because I think it means, I mean, the players say that it means a lot to them, and I think it does to have a knot of supporters, however many it is, as many as possible, that just gives them a feeling that there's somebody there rooting for them, particularly if it's a particularly hostile or intimidating environment away from home somewhere. I think, you know, the home advantage has probably been neutered a little bit because the quality of the pitches now is is so good mm. uniformly around the world. And I think the governing bodies have, have built in a few more safeguards for, for away teams in recent times as well by insisting on standards. Now, I can recall a, a USA away game where they were playing. I'm not going to mention the country, but it was in Central America in a World Cup qualifier. And they went there. The game had deliberately been put in a place which was four hours transfer from the main airport. And outside, the Fans were banging on drums all night long. And I think they put in a few sort of safeguards since then, like you can't be more than so far from the airport for away teams. So um, it's tough playing away, but it may be not quite as tough as it used to be. Now, don't go anywhere. We've got lots and lots to discuss. We're going to have a quick look through all the papers in just a moment. But first, a quick break. I'm Clive Tilsey, I'm with Andy Townsend here. It's one of the qualifiers for the 2014 World Cup. Important match, Clive. Looking forward to it. The atmosphere here is always a little bit special under the floodlights. And, of course, we're under floodlights, so that always adds something extra to the game. Firstly, playing of the national anthems of Somalia and South Africa. Some of the most famous names in World Cup history have said that the idea of an African winner is now more than a pipe dream. African qualifying keeps throwing up new candidates every time. Who will emerge this year? Here come the first clues. Yeah, well, remember Ghana in South Africa 2010? They were very, very good. Just missed out on penalties, of course, and some emerging nations. They'll be very difficult to handle. Some of the best players in the English league now are African players. Some of the best players in the French league have always been African players. There are African players in the Spanish league, African players in the Italian league. They can compete at the top level. What is it going to take for an African nation to make an impact on the world stage? I think they're having an impact, that's for sure. You've only got to look at the amount, as you said, top African players playing all the way around Europe and how good they are. These aren't just squad-filling players. These are players that are happy to go and get starting positions in some of the very finest clubs anywhere in the world. I think they are having an impact and I think they're moving forward. I think their own, uh, I th I think their own leagues obviously have to be uh, improved. Standards, facilities, etc. are now gradually being dragged forward. I don't think it'll be long before we have an African nation club really knocking on the doors of winning something. That's an exciting prospect. The uh, referee is Greg O'Milland. Well read that, saw the pass quicker than the man it was meant for. So Somalia, they'll be hoping to go one better today. Last time out, they couldn't find a winner and drew against Equatorial Guinea. Well, they drew 1-1, but I just don't fancy them here. Good interception, alive to the danger. And Thaler. Couldn't retain possession. Charlie.
Segalela. Throwing, take it instantly, trying to catch them off guard. Dear me, I, I don't think he looked where he was passing. It's so wasteful. And news coming in from the game involving uh, Colombia. They've gone in front in that game. Just whipped it away from him nicely there. Segalela. Knocking the ball around well. Erasmus trying to harass and hustle him here. Real chance. Oh, great work by the keeper from a very well struck shot. Danger still, it's a corner. Clearing header. So important to keep possession. here good save still there though headed away he's having a go oh just got something on it corner given they do a lot of work on these got his head on the ball oh he's missed it off the post oh whisker away and a score coming in for the game featuring uh, the Paraguay side they just got their noses in front in that one South Africa have been awarded a free kick here. Good keeping, importantly held it. Oh, look at this for a chance! It's there! Goal! The only surprise is that it's taken so long, they have a constant goal threat. Well, the goalkeeper's been under constant pressure, hasn't he? And I'm afraid he succumbed there. That one had to go in. What a fantastic finish that is. I'm not sure if two keepers in the net would have stopped that one from going in. Masi Leila. Defended his flank well there. Refs wait play on, advantage, South Africa in possession. News coming in of the Uruguay game. They've gone ahead there. And Thaler. What a chance! Good stop, but who may fall to? Oh, it was another chance. He has been taking those. Great movement from this guy, isn't he? I'm just surprised he didn't finish it. Ooh, that was a good hit, Clive. A relieved man between the sticks there. The first half is over. The players head for the dressing room. Scores 2-0. These boys have really knocked the ball about well in the first half. There's a good tempo to their game. And if they get more chances, I've got a feeling they're going to take them. change things a bit, won't it? The manager is going to bring on all three of his substitutes. <laughs> Referee ready to blow. Just 45 minutes to settle this qualifying game. And a score coming in for the game featuring uh, Togo. They scored again and opened up a bit of daylight there. Jali. Lost the ball. Some very static defending. And got a... Referee, no choice but to give the free kick there, but will he caution him too? Tries a header. 
Wasn't the header he was hoping for. Disappointed to miss the target, but he's got there. That's the main thing. to win the ball back and that's into the hands of the goalkeeper and news coming in from the game involving uh, Japan got a vital goal there that's put them in charge got to look after the ball better than that Jarley Segalela. Desperate defending. We'll find out uh, how the Colombia game is going. They've increased their advantage there. That looks all but over. Ise. Disappointed. He was in again there. Yeah, look at his reaction, Clive. He's already got one goal and he knows he could have had another there. And not one, but two changes being made there by the manager. Modisi. Shabalala. And Thaler. Nice football. Alert defending. They could have been opened up there. No free kick. He's given the advantage. the ball again and an update from the game featuring uh, Paraguay they've doubled their advantage there two ahead now Abdiaziz was it dry don't know what happened there it was yards wide well that's an awful strike because uh, really and truly at this level you're expected to test the goalkeeper from there have a chance important to retain possession Shabalala Masilela Shabalala looks a good one Cross is good. Can he convert? Didn't meet the ball as he meant to. Well, no complaints for me for having a go from there, Clive, because, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. You've got to have a pop now and again. And Conca. We're only five or six minutes remaining now. An update on the Iran match. There's been an equaliser in that game and a late one at that. Matisse. Marlangu. Opened up for him here. Blocks it. Crossbar. Two chances to score, but the keeper was equal to both efforts. It's becoming business as usual for a team that's getting used to winning games. They're going to take some stopping in this form. Not that's another many. good win. I eh? tell you, it's like a speeding train rattling downhill. They're getting better and better. As always, we're glad you could join us for this one. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Well, it's today, it's upon us now, the final day, the last day of qualifying for Rio.
the World Cup 2014. Um, some sides, of course, looking at the group stages. There, there, it's all done and dusted. Yeah, it's great for them, isn't it? They, they can, can rest a few. Yeah, they can put their feet up. Other sides, of course, are out and have no chance. And for a few select, they can still get there, or more importantly, still throw it away. Yeah, that's absolutely right. It's, it's a critical day, this one. And it all comes down to just one final 90 minutes. Either you're going to the World Cup finals or you're going to sit at home all through the summer and watch it on TV. So that's... Hello, I'm Clive Tilsey. Alongside me is Andy Townsend. This is a... a... Thanks for joining us again to see a team that should be full of confidence after their victory in their last match. They know what they're capable of, they know what's required in order to qualify. Yep, it's simple. They set the standard last time out, now they must continue that. Oh, look at this! Oh, didn't the keeper do well? Top, top defending that. See Layla. And he must score, surely. Charlie. Unable to keep hold of the ball. Mohammed. Said. Saw that developing, didn't he? Stopped the attack at source. I've done so well to regain possession. Coming under pressure. South Africa. Ref deserves a lot of credit, actually. He let it go initially, but there was no advantage, so he's given the free kick now. Good work by the goalkeeper. Safe hands. to the keeper he just had to score didn't he keeper couldn't hold the first attempt i'm not sure any keeper could no good anticipation was it from the striker he pounced on that second chance aggregate score is three nil and failure An update on the chili match they've got their noses in front in that one And the manager using his options there to switch things around. And what? That's such a loose pass. Didn't seem to look. Handed the... the throw Segalela so Somalia they're looking good and set to go for another victory after their win against South Africa well that was a solid 2-0 victory but today I've just got a feeling they'll get beat danger passes goal kick news from the Ecuador match they're on terms in that one there's nothing in it Shabalala read that well, smart interception. Erasmus. Look, play that, had to make the interception. Issei. Said. 
Possibilities here. Oh, it was only just over the bar. Well, clearly he's got ahead of himself there, Clive. I think he thought he was going to hit the back of the net and he just lost all concentration. Erasmus. Showed him too much of the ball. Said. Could be a chance. Often dangerous from these. Defender got it away. No real threat, was there? Not wasting any time over the throw. And news coming in from the game involving uh, Argentina. They've taken the lead in that one. Must get it in now. Genuine chance. Ah, not the best of contacts. Be better on the other side. Yeah, that foot isn't his strongest point, I'm afraid. Well, that just gives the goalkeeper something to think about. He now knows that whenever this guy gets a chance, he'll have a shot. Charlie. That's it for this first half. The referee has blown. Scores one goal to nil. Been really impressed with the ambition from the away team today. When they've got the ball, they've really committed people forward. And they're throwing people into... And news coming in from the game involving uh, the Argentinians. They've gone in front in that game. May lose it here if he's not careful. Masi Leila. What can he do here? The keeper claims it. Aziz. Good snappy passing. Has a chance here. Yes! Hit the up right and went in. Oh, you need a bit of luck sometimes. He's a match winner. Simple as that. The star of the team. You know, coming here today, I wondered if we were going to see something special from this guy, and he hasn't let us down. That makes the uh, aggregate score 4-0. Referee uh, accidentally getting involved, couldn't get out of the way. Big chance, stopped by the keeper. They've got the big defenders forward. Maybe some fresh legs will do it for him. A chance for the uh, substitute to go on and make a name for himself. Look at this now. Uh, didn't get hold of it. Weaker foot. Yeah, he didn't really have time to get it onto his stronger foot, did he? Can't keep squandering good opportunities. He just seemed to panic off of another good delivery. Mohamed. Issei. Masilela. Intercepted well, taking the pressure off his defence. And conquer. Lost the ball on the wing. Charlie. Erasmus. Dukadia. Ise. Fancy his chances again. Very nearly added to his tally there. You know, Clive, I'm not so sure the goalkeeper had that one covered. That was only just wide. Manager's making a substitution, hoping to uh, find a way to change things and maybe save this match.
got it back chance to turn defense into attack and here's from the game featuring Togo they've got another goal there and they've got a healthy lead oh what a goal they're in the mood here in the mood to score one or two more yet I think they know they've got a grip on this game now. Oh, I think they realise there's goals for them out there today, Cliver. They're looking very strong here. Score now is 5-0 on aggregate. You're not going to deny them here today, Clive. We're witnessing a very confident side uh, at the top of their game right now. Go for goal. Goal! In by the post! Forget about the post, it's a goal and it all counts. Clear breathing space now, they've taken a real hold of this game and I don't think they're about to uh, let go, do you Andy? Well, I've been wrong before Clive, but uh, I can't see any way back for this team now, not after that. Well, whether it goes... It's a foul, no doubt about that, but will there be a card too? Looking to get on with it. Can't find a way through. Chance maybe. Gentle goal! Oh, that's some save! How did he keep that one out? A corner, more pressure. Directed goalwards! I don't know what he was trying to do there, but it wasn't what he intended, that's for sure. That's poor, because all that does is relieve pressure and allows the opposition to uh, get their shape again. Game can change very quickly when the uh, manager starts to use his substitutes. That's the idea when all said and done. There's a certain telepathy between those two. And Thaler. Good place to win the ball back. Now, what can they do with it? What can he do here? Keeper's there. Did much better that time. Well, I thought he was going to be fishing it out the corner of the net again, but he managed to save one at last. Got the corner away. No danger in the end. Modisi. Well, we're here to see the team that everyone's talking about. Nobody's in uh, better form this year, producing the kind of football that's needed. If they can win here, they'll start to think about going all the way, Andy. You know what, Clive? You don't lose matches, you give yourself a chance to qualify. It's as simple as that. Appreciate you being with us again. Clive Tilsey here with uh, Andy Townsend saying bye-bye for now. And when you look back at some of the best World Cups we've ever had, I suppose you have to mention 1970. I, of course, haven't been born yet. I know you're in your... I think you just celebrated your 40th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 of them. <laughs> when you look at that Brazilian side, um, I think it's fair to say, what, the greatest World Cup side ever? The greatest year? World Cup side, I think, without any question. Some people might say that the Barcelona side of a couple of years ago were as good a team in, in a modern era. It's hard to compare eras, but that Brazilian team was absolutely fantastic and the, the names kind of reverberate through history you know carlos alberto shears and uh, tostal rivellino you missing uh, one out pele there you of go. course as well and uh, jairzinho i think scored in every game uh, they were a lovely t lovely team to watch and they could just change the tempo of an attack almost at will uh, I, I, I always remember the the hugh johns bit of commentary on tv through that crackly line from mexico city when pele scored in the final el rey pele and, so it's you know it was i noticed you don't um, mention uh, Felix, the goalkeeper there. <laughs> you were the goalkeeper for another story. <laughs> but the goalkeepers hardly touched the ball in that team. Didn't need to. You or I could have gone in goal that year. Probably, and read a book as well. When we come back, guess what? Loads more football chat. See you in a second.